Good afternoon, Hope Nation. Um, we're so glad that you are here with us today. Um, before we, I pray, excuse me, I kind of want to say a word just real quick. Um, in regards to Hope Nation, I personally feel like we are in the season of Exodus, meaning we are exiting and entering into a new season and walking um, to our land of milk and honey. And so, um, I don't know if you were here or not, or if you saw the rewatch or the recap, but I personally spoke on um, trusting, and this kind of reminded me of the scripture in regards to trusting. Um, in Exodus, Exodus 16, um, the people of Israel, the Israelites, they were complaining, right? They were hungry, so God provided manna for them every day, every morning, and um, I'm just real quick, read the scripture, um, Exodus 16, 4, then the Lord said to Moses, behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain, certain quota, that, that part, certain quota, um, every day, that I may test them, Jesus, whether um, they will walk in my law or not. And then if you continue to read and then go down, um, but basically what I'm trying to get at is that like we're being tested by the Lord to see if we're truly trusting him yeah. or not, um, because the Israelites, if they were to get more than enough, then there was magnet, maggots, excuse me, um, in the manna and then it just went to waste right and so we don't want to waste anything we just want to be grateful and thankful for the things that the lord has provided for this day hence if you go into the new testament and where jesus was uh telling teaching the people how to pray um the daily bread right so i'm gonna go ahead and pray now father god we come to you right now just simply saying thank you for our daily bread for that specific Quota that you have provided for us today, Father God. Lord, we trust you. We're going to pass this test. <laughs> Heavenly Father, um, thank you for blessing us with wisdom, peace, and comfort, Father God. For as we are exiting, we, we trust you, right? Like you've opened up the seas for the people to walk across. You bless the people. Um, just throughout that whole journey. So just thank you, Father God, for just blessing us. Um, but we love the Lord. <laughs> In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We definitely do trust God with our whole entire being. Amen. What an honor it is to be in the house of God, to worship his name, to give him praise, glory, and to give him honor. Hallelujah. Amen. This first song just simply says that there is a place that I love to dwell, to dwell in. Amen. The writer of the scripture says, One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after. And that is to dwell in his presence, to dwell in his temple, and to behold the beauty of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, of course, we don't have our whole worship team today, but I want you to see right where you are. Hallelujah. The song goes, there is a place where I love to dwell is the presence of the Father. All the hosts of heaven gather to worship Him. Bowing down I know a place that I love to 
worship him right there. Come on and worship him. Hallelujah to your name, God. We give you glory, honor, praise, adoration. You do our worship. Hallelujah. You're worthy. Hallelujah. You're worthy, God. Hallelujah. You're worthy, God. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Jesus. You're worthy, King. No one like you, God. Holy is your name. Righteous is your name. Thank you. 
and I bless your holy name oh, because you deserve the glory and the honor. I lift my hands in worship and I bless your holy
hallelujah, God, teach us how we can meet the need of others, Lord. How we can meet the need of others, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. And we just say hallelujah to your name, God. There's no other beautiful name I know than the name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. We can call on Jesus and he'll answer us. Jesus, we bless you. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we bless you. Jesus, we love you. Hallelujah. Jesus, we say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We won't cry on any, call out any other name but the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And our worship means nothing if we can't say yes. Our worship means nothing if we can't say yes to you, Lord. So we say yes to you, Lord. We say yes to what you have for us, Lord. Not just as individuals, but as this church, God, as this ministry, Lord. We say yes to the call, God. And we will continue to walk in obedience to what you have for us, God. We will rebuke everything that's not like you, every naysayer. And we will only have our ears tend to you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. We say yes. Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, hallelujah. God wants our yes upon today. We say yes, God. And we will continue to walk by faith, God, not by sight, by what we see, by the natural eye, but we will walk by faith. Continue to tune our ears, God, so that we can hear from you clearly. Not questioning what you have to say to us, God. God, we thank you for clarity. We thank you for wisdom, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just bless your name, God. We ask that you continue to bless this service, God. Hallelujah. Bless our pastor as he gives a word upon today, Lord. Hallelujah. Let our ears be able to hear what you have to say to us, not looking at what everybody else is doing, not looking at who is here and not is here. I'm here. I'm here. God, I'm here. I'm here to hear from you through, your, through the passion that you have for us, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have our blinders on that we only want to hear what you have for us, God. Hallelujah. That we will walk in purpose, God, and walk with you. But be intentional with every step that we take, Lord. And we just bless your name. We give you all glory and honor. 